All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakak Wadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. In addition, GMS News and Prophecy, and this is from uh, RT.com. And it's a uh, uh, headline uh, Death of U.S. Dollar, China Lunches Petro Yuan to Challenge Greenback's Dominance. All right. <clears throat> um, so basically, uh, <laughs> and this is the end of the U.S. dollar, you know, um, because uh, basically uh, the dollar, as we know it, or as it's known as, as uh, the uh, Federal Reserve note, it is the currency of the world. It is the uh, war, the world reserve currency. And that is based off of the uh, trade, the oil trade, <clears throat> which uh, is basically what's called the uh, petrodollar. And the petrodollar or the oil dollar or the dollar, that's what the different governments of the world use to trade oil. No matter what currency it is, whether it's rubles uh yuan or 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 rupees okay um these other countries they have to convert their country's money monetary system into dollars to buy oil okay which is basically how america uh it became one of the top economies on the planet but see now all of that's changing okay now you have it to where these other countries, such as Russia and China, um, Venezuela, they're gaining their own. Uh, they're gaining their own monetary. Um, trying to see if I can say this correctly, but basically they're um, they're backing their oil based off of a new monetary system that 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 they're creating. Okay, um, down there in uh, in Venezuela because of their economic crisis, and they have the 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 uh, most um, oil reserves in the world. Um, the president down there, President Maduro of Venezuela, he wants to um, to uh, to uh, uh, trade oil with a digital currency, which is known as the Petro, and it was just last week that. Uh, President Donald Trump signed an executive order for no Americans to do any trading or deals with that digital currency from Venezuela. Okay, so they are, you know, they was already expecting something uh, um, uh, major to happen. Okay, let's see if I can turn off these notifications. Uh, okay. Sal, you have it this week. China is um is uh doing away with the the the, the um petrol dollar and launching their own currency. Okay, so let's get into the article. And let's you know see what they have to say. It says the highly anticipated yuan back crude oil futures have been launched in Shanghai. China is the world's biggest oil consumer with eyes on rival benchmarks Brent and WTI as well as the U.S. currency. Trading of the new oil futures contracts uh, for September settlement started on the Shanghai International Energy Exchange at 440.20 yuan or $69.70 per barrel, reports Chinese Daily, the South China Morning Post. Some 18,540 lots have reportedly been sold and purchased so far. All right. Uh, it says the longer waited right now. Yeah, it says the longer waited step evoked uh, a surge in global prices for oil, with Brent crude soaring to seventy one dollars a barrel for the first time since two thousand fifteen. U.S. crude benchmark West Texas Intermediate reached the highest level in three years at sixty six fifty five per barrel before retreating to sixty six to sixty five fifty three. 
Experts see China's yuan dominated contracts as historic as the new futures uh, symbolize the first time that foreign investors can access a Chinese commodity market. The launch ends, ye ends, ends years of setbacks and delays since the country's first attempt at listing the securities in 1993. All right. So basically, China is uh, becoming a uh, a major player in um, the uh, oil trade market. OK, <clears throat> it says at the same time, the petrol yuan launch is seen as a blow to the U.S. dollar that has been weakening in recent months. The U.S. dollar is the predominant. <clears throat> it says the pre pre predominant settlement currency for all futures contracts. On Monday, the greenback slipped to a 16th month low against the Japanese yen, but remained steady against the basket of six major currencies. Okay, so things are quickly changing for America. All right, things are quickly changing for the U.S. Uh, as far as them being that dominant superpower, whether it be militarily. Whether it be, you know, economically, all right, socially, morally, everything is changing, you know, with America now, okay? It's not the same glorious, all-powerful America that it used to be, all right? It's, uh, it's economy slipping, okay? Uh, uh, um, you know, the price of gas is on the rise. You know, things are changing for America, all right? It's not that same... You know, same place. Okay. It says uh, Chinese authorities have reportedly accelerated the launch amid growing crude imports. Last year, the country outpaced the U.S. as the world's number one importer of oil. Thus, the contrast may not only help to win some control over pricing from the major international benchmarks, but also promote the use of Chinese currency in global trade. The greenback will get weaker. As soon as other nations have a real credible alternative to it, Ann Lee, adjunct professor of economics and finance at New York University and author of the book, What the U.S. Can Learn from China, told RT. All right, so the greenback, a.k.a. the the, the, the dollar dollar bill, is going to get weaker. It's going to get to a point where it's, there's going to have to be a, a new global currency. And... The last ditch effort for America to 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 do is to push the RFID microchip and make it mandatory, okay? Because I'll say this: the the the, the it's only see the American dollar is still the world reserve currency at this point, but China's launching is is its own. But once the dollar collapses. That's going to hinder these other currencies. It's going to hinder the, the economies of these other nations. So there's going to be a global economic collapse. And there's going to be one solution. That's to look to the future, which is this technology, okay? This mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip, okay? Uh, it says it's more of a game changer for the U.S. As soon as other nations have a real credible alternative to the U.S. dollar, they can dump dollars and switch to the yuan, which can spark a dollar crisis. If that happens, not only will there be inflation from the tariffs, but also from the flood of dollars, said Lee. Right, because the dollar is not going to be worth anything, so things are going to have to go up. Okay? You know? Especially dealing with trade. So... We're seeing the, the the death of not just the the American U.S. dollar, but it's the death of America. Okay? It's over. All right? So let's go into these prophecies. All right? Let's go into these prophecies and uh, let's get this first one here. This is Zephaniah 1 and 11. It says, How ye inhabitants of Maktesh? For all the merchant people are cut down, all they that bear silver are cut off. Okay, because the 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 merchant people, you know, the people that's doing trade with these dollars and these American uh, um, Federal Reserve notes, they're going to basically <laughs> be cut off from trading. You know, and the Lord is going to use Moab is is using the Moabites. Which are the Chinese today, the so-called Chinese today? He's using them to do it, okay. And this made me think about this scripture, which uh, Apostle Hart had had uh, had brought this out, right? This is uh, a 
uh, uh, Psalm 16 and 8. It says, Moab is my wash pot. Over Edom will I cast out my shoe. If Philistia triumph thou because of me. So the Lord is going to use Moab to, to uh, uh, cast out Edom, these Edomites. Okay? And a part of that is uh a part of that is um dumping the US dollars. Now when you go to the book of Habakkuk, the second chapter, okay, All right, the sixth verse, all right, it talks about thick clay. Now this thick clay, when you look up the word thick clay in the Hebrew, and I'm gonna read it, it goes into debts, heavy debts. And that's what America is in. America has has a, a heavy debt now of uh, twenty one trillion dollars. Okay, the public debt. But guess who owns most of that debt? China, Moab. Okay. So slowly but surely, they're 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 becoming a, a, a um a, um superpower over the U.S. Okay. So this is Habakkuk 2 and 6. It says, Shall not all these take up a parable against them and a taunting proverb against them and say, Woe to him that increases that which is not his? And that's what these they are saying now. Okay? Because America has gone all over the world over the past five, six hundred years, you know, since since these Edomites came to this side of the world and started their so-called New World Order, you know, through these different wars, they've been increasing that which doesn't belong to them. They went into China. You know, you had the Boss of Rebellion in the early 1900s. Okay? They went into Africa. All right? They brought the Israelites from West Africa over here to America, the cargo slave ships. They came over here to America, saw the, you know, the Native Americans, the Native Hispanic tribes that were over here. Okay? Put them in slavery. They went to war with their own people. They went to war with Germany and, and Italy. Okay? All right. They went to, 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 to the Australian Aborigines and conquered them. Okay, Jaffa over there in the Pacific. And they stole all their resources. So now these other nations are now saying, yo, destruction to, to him that increases that which is not his now. It says how long, okay, how long uh, until the Lord fulfills his prophecies. Okay, and he's doing that now. It says, and to him that ladeth himself with thick clay. So this, so this destruction is going to come to uh, uh, um, these uh, 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 debts. Okay, now I'm going to look it up. Right, now where you see, see thick clay in the Hebrew, which is H5671, it says, I bought yacht, which is what? Weight of pledges, heavy debts. And America is in heavy debts right now. Okay. All right, and a weight of pledges, and that pledge is uh, the U.S. dollar. Because when you read on the U.S. dollar, it talks about how this Federal Reserve note is legal tender for all debts, okay, public and private. All right, that's on your dollar bill. So we are, are living in the last days of America, man. Okay, slowly but surely, America is 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 uh, crumbling, man. Imploding from the inside out, and as as these other nations, you know, make their steps to to try to gain, you know, some kind of power in the world, th that's when America's gonna go to war. These these uh so called Jews, they're gonna want to go to war. America's gonna uh, back them up for this third world's war, and it's gonna take place the war of Armageddon in the Middle East, and then the Lord Yahweh Bashan was shy is gonna come. Come down and and judge them and destroy them, you know. So so with the death of the U.S. dollar comes the death of America. All right, and I'm gonna read this last scripture. All right, uh, let's see. This is uh, Jeremiah. I believe it's Jeremiah fifty. Okay. Jeremiah 50, and uh, let's see, it's not 50, it's 51, yeah, 51, Jeremiah 51, and uh, let 
Matter of fact, what I'll do is, yeah, I'll just type it in. All right, this is um. Jeremiah, right, right, Jeremiah 51, and, and, uh, and 7, it says, Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand, meaning it was glorified, you know, by the Lord, and it was, at one point, because it was the place of our punishment, of Israel's punishment, but now it's not, it says, Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunk enough her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Okay, and how, and how are they mad? Through through many, you know, the monetary system. It's not worth anything. So now they're trying to do their own thing. Okay, it says Babylon is suddenly fallen and is and is and destroyed. Howl for her, take balm for her pain. If so be she may be healed. All right, but America's not going to be made great again, like Trump says. Verse 9, we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. Is that not what China's saying? That they wouldn't launch their own petrol yuan to challenge America and their dollar? Okay. It says, for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up unto the skies. The Lord, Yahweh, Bashmi, our Shai, hath brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work. Of the of the Lord our power, so this is the the, the work of Yahweh Bashmi on Shah. He's doing this, okay. So it's over for America, all right. And with that, I'm gonna give our praises to Yahweh Bashmi on Shah, Basham Rakakwadash, the apostles of Great Millstone, and, and to the elect Shalom.